Alright, here's the permanent home of the Packardville PB2990 Platinum Pro, I believe. Um, it's in its... It's where I had the Legend 402 CD, which is now over there. I will, I will be putting um, Windows 3.1 back on it. I'm going to use this as my main Windows 95 computer for the office. My bedroom, I still got the good old 3550, which is still running. And if you notice this one here, um, that's uh, another Value Village fi find I found last week that I've yet to put on camera. I'll do it eventually. I can't give you too much information about it, but maybe that little emblem will tell you what brand it is. Very good brand, by the way. But, uh... Not much further ado, um, let's fire it up. I need to clean it up a little bit. And this is the... This monitor has seen better days. I needed to get another Packard Bell monitor for in here. I did have to replace the CMOS battery in it. It was um, dead. I used a Platinum Pro Master CD on this, which worked like a charm. So it has a very, 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 and I mean very different software package on here than, than from what I'm used to with Packer Bell. As you can see, it has uh, all kinds of different little goodies on here, uh, like Planet Oasis. I'm not sure what that is. Dinosaur in the Garden. In fact, the only two programs I recognize are Navigator and uh, and the Ski Free Games, the Entertainment Pack games, and also the uh, Toon Land. That's the only one that survived from the other package. Go the system credentials. Okay. Here's the format number. AMI BIOS S3 video card. Okay, test date and manufacturing date is um, October 11th, 1996. So, uh, about a month newer than my 1510 Supreme. And believe it or not, the version of Navigator on here is not 3.5 or 3.6. This is Navigator 3.9. Let's take a look at this. Your Packard Bell computer offers two computing environments to choose from, our Navigator Home Environment or Microsoft Windows. Press button number one to go directly to Navigator, or button two to go to Windows 95. Press button three for an overview of Navigator. Press the number three key on your keyboard for a quick lesson on using your mouse. To customize your setup and secure your computer so that more than one person can use it, press button four. A lesson on using the mouse. You think um, by version 3.9 people would have already known how to use their mouse. <laughs> oh. Okay, has a bunch of different other rooms that I'm used from what I'm used to. Um, a lot of this I'm experiencing firsthand. Um, this is the living room. Uh, TV, by the way, I did try the TV tuner and I don't think it works. All I was getting was a, a blue picture on the screen. So, uh... Okay, internet. Here's the software. It's not considered a room now with this. 
You know, Toon Land is the only one I recognize. <laughs> that and the other little Microsoft games. Now Printmaster Gold, I remember buying a copy of that back in the 90s. Um, it was our my very first um, experience with desktop publishing. That was, which was on, by the way, the, my Legend 822 CDTW. I still got the CDs somewhere. Yeah. Okay, that's how I get out of here. Info room. This is the tutorial gallery. And Disney Online. <laughs> What's this? Uh... <laughs> well, Kid Space, this Hello looks familiar. Hello and welcome to Kid Space. This is the fun place to work and play. Keep your software in the bookcase. Put all your games and stuff on the shelves. The bottom drawer lets Mom and Dad organize the room. To start your software, drag things from the shelves to where I'm standing. Keep all your files and letters in the dresser drawers. Watch out for things flying around. Now, if you need more help, click on the bright box with the mouse. Have fun! Yeah, this looks to be just about the same from 3.5. Um, not much new. I don't know if that's new or not. <laughs> Let's go back to the pool. Everybody out of the pool! <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> What's this? Oh. I was just there. <laughs> In MySpace. Hello, and welcome to MySpace. This is the cool place to work and play. Keep your software in the bookcase. Put all your games and stuff on the shelves. This is different. To start your software, drag things from the shelves to where I'm standing. Keep all your files Jack and the letters in the gone, dresser must drawers. Have gone through puberty all and of if a you sudden. want to enter the exciting <laughs> world of the internet, pull down the lever under the window. Click anywhere on the window area and be transported to a whole new online dimension. <laughs> this is neat. Now if you need more help, click on the box with the mouse. So what are you waiting for? Start exploring and have fun! Yeah, this is um MySpace, not to not to be confused with the social networking site that I hate with a passion. Facebook all the way, people. But anyway, um, I digress. Um, I think this is a a version of Kid Space for um older kids like preteens and such. Um, you know the the background and the atmosphere of this little thing reminds me a lot of um. Mist, that point and click adventure game that I used to play a lot. How do I get out of here? Uh, help, help, how do I get out of my space? Okay, that didn't do it. Oops, I accidentally clicked the internet button. Okay, and obviously I don't have dial-up networking set up, so... How do I get out of here? Oh. There we go. Workspace, is this any different? Huh. 
kind of looks roughly the same, um, just a little bit different, not much. Okay, let's get out of here. I might have to do a control alt delete with this. And I accidentally pressed it twice, so um, it's rebooting. But um, to tell you the truth, um, this really isn't the Packard Bell software package that I care for. Plus, I don't have soft software disk for many of these, so I'm considering using another with a normal master CD on this and put the one I'm familiar with that has Navigator 3.5 and My First Encyclopedia and Pirate Who Wouldn't Wash and all that good stuff on here. And hopefully the drivers will match up. Okay, uh, let's go to Device Manager. <laughs> S3 Verge. And by the way, I did try that composite output on there, and, and evidently it's a composite input, so that's a big no to my plans. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like I said, this monitor is seen better days. But I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and see if I can put it to where I want it to be as far as the software package is concerned. Oh, and by the way, I've got to mention this is Windows 95 B, not A, this is B. Okay, and so for now, this is Billy Core signing off.